What's wrong with you? You sound low. Are you okay? You can talk to me. Everything is fine. You look bothered. I know you. Let me get some tea. So we can talk about this. You're not gonna quit, are you? Nope. Whatever. Girl, I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. Take your time. There you go. Tell me, what's bothering you? Why are you asking questions about my private life? Since when your life become private to your best friend? You need to get over yourself, girl. Does it have to do with John? I don't see you guys together anymore. Trust me, Lisa. You don't want to know. Of course. I do want to know. After all, you're my best friend and a sister in Christ. I deserve to know. He cheated on me again. He what? With who? How? I can't forgive him. What do you mean you can't forgive him? I know he has hurt you. But at the end of the day, forgiveness is the only way to go. You remember my story with Desmond? It's not the first time he cheats on me. And each time he tells me how sorry he is and I keep forgiving him. But this time, I'm tired of forgiving. I'm not Jesus, you know? As far as I'm concerned, he's already dead and buried. I don't think you should cut him off all like that. He might have a good explanation for all the stupidity. It's never good to make decision based on emotion. Hear him out. I don't want to see him or hear from him again. I will not marry him. I totally understand you. You have all the rights in the world to be mad at him. But as a Christian woman, you have to forgive him. Remember the story in the Bible, I think, it's Matthew 18, 21. When Peter asked Jesus how many times does he have to forgive his brother? Jesus said, 70 times seven. What? I passed that count already. All I'm saying, forgiveness is a choice. You can't set your limit on, forgive, on forgiving. In fact, you should start practicing and working in forgiveness. Bro, man, I don't, under, I don't understand. I call her, she won't answer her phone. I text her, she's not answering her phone. I just don't get it, like, I go by her house, I see her car parked. She still doesn't answer the door, like, I just don't get her. But, I mean, what you, you know, what did you do to her? Why is she, you know, why is she picking up your phone? Or your text? what you do, man? <laughs> man, that's a long story. Let's just say she found out about Gloria. Hey, bro, but you know that's wrong, though, right? You know, like, as a Christian, you know, God expects more of you, you know? And she does as well. I mean, you know, you betrayed her trust. You know, she really loved you and uh, you betrayed that, you know. So uh, you got to make it right with her, man. Yeah, I hope you do find the time to make it right with her. I realized what I did was wrong. I asked God for forgiveness. And I know he's forgiven me. And I have a peace in my heart that he has. Sorry, man. One second. Oh, snap. Yo, that's her. That's her. Yo, pick up the phone. Pick it up, yeah! Pick it up, man! Hello? What's up, baby? I'm coming right away. Uh, man, God is good, man. God is God is good. I hope I'm the best man in the wedding, though, for real. Name my baby after me.
I'm forgiven because you were forsaken. I'm accepted. You were condemned.